Hey everyone, it's Lee here. Welcome to another video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to uh, mine and farm and provide your spare hard drive space onto the uh, storage network. And uh, in return for that, hopefully you'll earn some storage coins as a reward for your efforts. Um, so the first thing you're going to need is a an address, a storage address to receive your rewards and also contribute to the actual storage network. Um, I'm going to be using an address which I created at CounterWallet which runs on the Counterparty network. Um, if you don't already have um, some storage in your account what you might consider doing is um, going to a, a crypto exchange, um, purchasing a small amount of storage and then transferring it to your CounterWallet. Um, the reason being is um, at the moment there's various incentives um, based on your original storage balance. Um, I think that will change in the future and you won't need anything, but um, at the moment, like I say, there is some sort of incentives. It also gives you a clear indication that you've definitely um, got a good uh, and usable storage address. So even if you just transfer, um, you know, 10 storage or something like that, that would just be a good start for you. Um, alternatively, if you don't, um, you can just use a regular um, uh, counter wallet address and it should change over automatically. Um, in this case, I'm just going to be using my second address here. So I just need to select that. And then we're just going to copy that to the clipboard. Close that. Okay, so the next part, so that, that's the actual the address part solved. We've got our storage address. The next part that we need is to download the actual storage drive set, share GUI. So if you go to Google and just try a uh, searching for storage uh, space github you'll end up on this page here which is the storage github this is basically where they share all their various um, software uh, the one that you want is the drive share gui drive share gui uh, so you select that and then you want to move over to releases select that and then this is basically the like a downloads kind of area where they share all their various um, softwares. Um, the current version is currently the 14th of September 2015 and the current drive share version is this 0.4.1. Uh, the if Regardless of whether you're on Windows 32 or a 64-bit system, um, there's only one version at the moment which is this Windows 32. So if you just select that and then um, download it. In this case, we've already done that, so I can just close that. Then if you go to your downloads folder, in this case, I'll just show you there. So you just go to your downloads folder and then you'll see the actual drive share uh, installer. So we're just gonna double click and we will shall install that. Just uh, click on that confirmation for security. Yes, we wish to install it. And then um, at the end of it, it says completed. It should say finished, but you can just click on close. Um, and then the program will start running. We just need to add in a few of our details. Okay, so the drive share program has now installed, and this is basically the software that we're gonna be using for um, mining and contributing to the storage network with our hard drive space. Um, so we need to enter our storage address, which we copied earlier. So we're just gonna paste that in there. The second part is our storage location. Basically, this is the area where we're actually gonna provide our free space onto the actual storage network. So it's wherever you've got a free space on your computer. Um, on this particular machine, I don't have a ton of space. So I'm just gonna select this second hard drive. Um, and what I'm gonna do is create a new folder. Um, basically, because this folder is gonna be filled with um, information. So I'm just gonna create a new folder. I'm just gonna call it storage data. And then we're gonna select this folder. So it's F and then it's the storage data. That's where it's gonna be saved. And then it asks for how much space do you actually want to use. Um, I'm gonna use 100 gigabytes. 
Um, you can see it in the drop down box, you can select megabytes, gigabytes, or terabytes. I'm going to go with 100 gigabytes, um, and then you click start. Um, and then from this point, what the actual drive share, share software will do is it will register your address onto the network, it will check your available space, and then it will actually start creating data in the file location that you've set, and then it relays its information across to the actual storage network. Um, depending on how much you've selected as a storage size, it will take a while to fill up the actual um, space. Um, if you've gone for like terabytes, it will take probably, you know, potentially a couple of hours to fill up that complete space, but you just need to leave it going and it will run. Um, so let's just go to the actual storage data folder. And now you can see that it's starting to fill up. This is all the storage various data. So these are basically all the little chunks of uh, files that are on the actual network. So over time, this will gradually get bigger and bigger and bigger until it uses up your required amount of space, which is 100 gigabytes in my case. Um, so that's basically it, and you just leave this program running, you can minimise it in the background. Um, in addition, you can also add a second drive should you wish, you just need to enter the same uh, details again, um, your storage address, where you want the data, and then just click start and it will start like a new instance of it. So that's basically it. Um, the rewards are paid out um, slightly different on the storage network compared to other cryptocurrencies. It's all done at the moment, it's done on a manual payout basis. So basically the developers uh, reward uh, contributors based on uh, how they see fit. And that's how it's done at the moment. Um, in the very near future, probably over the next sort of six to 12 months, that payout basis will change and then it'll be more of an open market, in which case you'll get paid depending on how much um, storage you contribute to the storage network and that will be more of a, an open market kind of basis. Um, but that's the system as it is now, um, so pretty straightforward. And yeah, that's it there. If you've got any questions, um, just uh, add a comment in the uh, comments box below, um, and I'll be sure to get back to you and uh, try and help you out um, anywhere I can. Uh, okay, thanks for watching. See you guys again soon.